Hi friends, thanks for coming to learn about letters today. I think you've met this letter before. It's capital G, right? And this one is, yes, this is lowercase g. G says g, like goose. Now, I'm not sure if you know, but sometimes lowercase g likes to be fancy. Ding! Sometimes letter G likes to get all dressed up in her fancy dress, and sometimes she even wears a little bow in her hair. You see that? Like she's going to the park to a party or something. Ha! Huh. Sometimes letter G likes to be fancy. Sometimes letter G likes to be plain. Sometimes letter G likes to be fancy, fancy, dancy. Sometimes letter G likes to be plain. This is letter G when she wakes up in the morning. Ah, and she jumps out of bed. Jump! Boing, boing, boing. And she decides she wants to be super fancy at school today. So, boing, she gets in her fancy dress and she's ready to go. So G walks to school and goes to school with her friends. And when she comes home, she decides, oh, She's going to Grandma's house. Hooray! So she comes home and changes, boink, into her casual play outfit to go to Grandma's. And g, -g, g grandma is so happy to see her. Hi, Grandma! g g g And they have some tea together and cookies. And bye-bye, Grandma! I'll see you later. Boing, 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 boing. And then it's time for G to go to a birthday party, so of course she wants to dress up, boing, in her fancy dress and her little bow. So here she goes to Letter T's birthday party. Yay, happy birthday, says Letter G. And then it's time to go home, boing, boing, boing. And of course she needs to get cozy dozy in her pajamas, boing so she can cuddle with her family on the couch. Yay! And read some stories together. Oh, what a nice day G had. G! All right, friends, it's time to get out our Play-Doh. We are going to make a lowercase g. Oh, okay, so here's the regular lowercase g. When she's being plain, so the first thing we need is a magic C. Can you make a magic C with your Play-Doh? All right, super duper. And so we do magic C, up like a helicopter, bump, down, turn. So the down turn is going to be a long line that we change into a curve at the end, okay? This kind of looks like a J, doesn't it? Okay, attach it to that top curve. And we have ourselves a lowercase g. Nice work! Yay! What letter is that? G! Now we want to make her fancy. Boing! To make a G fancy, first we're going to flip it over. Ready, set, flip! All right, we're gonna flip it over, and we also have to turn this part into a, into like a circle or an oval down here. So I'm gonna add some more Play-Doh. Okay, sort of, sort of looking like that G. This one's gonna be a little bit more round on the top. Okay, and if you have any little Play-Doh left over, give her a little bow on the top or pinch it. Okay, there's Fancy G. She's all ready for the birthday party. Yay! Nice work! What letter is this? Fancy G! All right, pick up your Fancy G and squash it. Nice work. Turn it into an egg shape and stick it into your Play-Doh container. Good work, friends, and put your Play-Doh away. All right, what letter is this? G, what letter is this? G, let's find Fancy G hiding in some books. Have you ever read Green Eggs and Ham? 
It's by Dr. Seuss. Well, if you look carefully, you will notice two fancy G's right there. Does that look like a fancy G? Oh, yes, it does. There they are. Good one. Okay. You might have heard this book before, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. If you look very closely, you will notice there's a fancy G right here on the cover. Wow, fancy G. There it is. Cool. And this is a sweet book about a funny little baby. Let's take a look inside. Inside, what do we find? A fancy G. Right here, do you see it? Nice work, there's another fancy G. So when you're reading a book, always remember, sometimes letter G likes to be fancy. And sometimes letter G likes to be plain. Sometimes letter G likes to be fancy, fancy, dancy. And sometimes letter G likes to be plain. Thanks for learning, guys. Remember, this is G and this is G. Have a great day. Thanks for learning. Bye.